Would you welcome Mr. George Carlin? <laughs> While I was driving over here, I passed a restaurant, had a sign that said, fresh fish. And we don't think about that. We just go right in, fresh fish. Would you go in a restaurant if they had a sign that said, fresh meat? <laughs> that's one of those things that's not intended to be funny. And that I, I always like to start with them. Johnny knows that. Tonight, well, it's true. You'll buy a fish sandwich. You would not buy something labeled a meat sandwich. Let's face it, all right? This twice now. <laughs> okay. I'd just like to follow up. I have a short list of people I can do without. I think everyone has a list in his head of people he can do without. This, this is my list. Guys in their 50s named Skip. A proctologist with poor depth perception. A pimp who drives a Toyota Corolla. Any woman whose hobby is breastfeeding zoo animals. A man with only one lip. Anyone who actually knows the third verse to the Star Spangled Banner. Any lawyer who refers to the police as the Federales. A cross-eyed nun with a bullwhip and a bottle of gin. A brain surgeon with Born to Lose tattooed on his hands. Couples whose children's names all start with the same initial. A man in a hospital gown directing traffic. <laughs> People who have large gums and small teeth. <laughs> and any woman whose arm hair completely covers her wristwatch. <laughs> All right, now. Baseball is unlike any other sport. Absolutely unlike any other sport, most sports you score points. Baseball you score runs. In most sports, the ball is put in play by the offensive team. In baseball, the ball is put into play by the defensive team. And in fact, only the defensive team is allowed to touch the ball. In baseball, if the offensive player touches the ball intentionally, he's out. Most sports run by a coach. Baseball run by a manager. And most of the sports, the manager or coach wears his own clothes. In baseball, they wear the same clothes as the players. Can you picture Tom Landry wearing a Dallas Cowboys football uniform? <laughs> now, baseball and, football are, baseball and football are much different in many other respects. Let me describe them. First of all, baseball is a 19th century pastoral game. Football is a 20th century technological struggle. <laughs> baseball is played in a park, the baseball park. Football is played in a stadium, sometimes called Soldier Field or War Memorial Stadium. In football, you wear a helmet. In baseball, you wear a cap. Football is concerned with downs. What down is it? Baseball is concerned with ups. Who's up? Are you up? I'm not up. In football, they have a kicking specialist. In baseball, they have a pinch hitter. <laughs> in football, in football, you receive a penalty. In baseball, you make an error. <laughs> Whoops! <laughs> football has hitting, clipping, spearing, piling on, personal fouls, late hitting, and unnecessary roughness. Baseball has the sacrifice. <laughs> Football is played in any weather. Rain, sleet, snow, hail, mud on the field. Can't read the uniform numbers, can't read the yard markers. The struggle will continue. In baseball, if it rains, we don't go out to play. <laughs> I can't come out to play. 
Baseball has the seventh inning stretch. Football has the two-minute warning. <laughs> Baseball has no time limit. We don't know when it's going to end. We might have extra innings. Football is rigidly timed, and it will end even if we have to go to sudden death. <laughs> in baseball, during the game in the stands, there's kind of a picnic feeling. Emotions may run high or low, but there's not that much unpleasantness. In football, in the stands during the game, you can be sure that at least 27 times you are perfectly capable of taking the life of a fellow human being. <laughs> Preferably a stranger. And finally, the objectives of the two games are totally different. In baseball, the object is to go home and to be safe. I'm going home. I hope I'll be safe at home. In football, the object is for the quarterback, otherwise known as the field general, to be on target with his aerial assault by riddling the defense while he's hitting his receivers with deadly accuracy in spite of the blitz, even if he has to go to the shotgun. With short bullet passes and long bombs, he marches his troops into enemy territory, balancing this aerial assault with a sustained ground attack that punches holes in the forward wall of the enemy's defensive line. <laughs> I've always looked, that is one of the best pieces of material. Thank you. It's a marvelous contrast. Thank you. It, it's it Fresh fun. meat, eh? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Boy, I thought that was going to be a good way to begin. <laughs> good way to begin. Wouldn't you love it when other, other comics hear something and you hear that laugh off in the distance yes, and knowing yeah. exactly what happened? You say, you got something you think it's going yes. to... And you say, a meat sandwich. It, it's the uh, death knell. Yeah. <laughs> How you been? Uh, doing okay? I, I feel, I don't feel so well, but I look great and that's all that counts. Yeah. <laughs> No, I, I was in the hospital for a while. I had. I didn't uh, know that. Well, yeah, I was. Well, I had a funny kind of an accident. I was uh, driving through Pennsylvania, and uh, hey, yeah, and I was uh, beaten up by a, a buggy full of Quakers. <laughs> <laughs> That's obviously a slow news weekend, yeah. in Pennsylvania. Yeah. And and what it did was it aggravated a couple of old conditions uh -huh. that I have had. I got. This is an old uh, billiards injury that goes... <laughs> well, a guy uh, just whacked my knee with the, the, the hard end of the cue stick once. Oh, and I didn't know that. And this shoulder, I was once in a runaway barca lounger. I think I told you that. <laughs> and my hips are sore. I was, uh, when I was a kid, I was sucked into a folding couch. <laughs> Those things do hang on, yeah. don't they? Yeah, you get older. But, but uh, I, I feel fairly well. Yeah. <laughs> Isn't this the same title as your uh, the HBO special, What yeah. Am I Doing in New Jersey? Yeah, that last couple of shows, that's what I've been doing, yeah. uh, is uh, doing an HBO show and waiting a few months and then uh, making an album out of it. And yeah. that's, uh, that's the result, What Am I Doing in New Jersey? Which, um, by the way, there are a couple of quotes I included on the back. Uh, the, the first one, if, if I could recite, I don't need to look at it. It's from Zippy the Pinhead. I don't know. That's my favorite comic strip. No. Zippy's terrific. <laughs> Zippy said, uh, life is but a doomed journey of lonely, uh, loneliness and misery punctuated by moments of suffering and ending in complete annihilation. That's true. <laughs> I thought you might like that. That is comedy. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Second one is nice. Thoreau. Thoreau said, beware of all enterprise that require new clothes. Right. <laughs> so I, uh, I like to include my heroes. He did that right after Walden Pond, didn't he? I think so, when he got out, when they fished him out. Oh, that's right. <laughs> First thing he said. First thing, get me a dry suit. Uh, so you're on the road again. You, yeah, I... Uh, for a while, you didn't like that. You, well, I, you know, you don't like being away from your family. And you, <coughs> the travel and the hotels you can do without. But it's where, it's, you know, it's, it's the place I, uh, I do my stuff. Yeah. It's, my, it's my workplace. So I, uh, I go out and I do a lot of weekends and... Um, that's how, the, that's how these happen. See, that, that's what I like. To me, it's yeah. important to have my album every year and a half or every two years. And uh, that's where they come from. Speaking of your family, how, how was they? Family? The doing, doing, well, my sons. You know, if you don't mind, I brought a few notes because this the family. So like, I always have to have to do that. That's right. You know. uh, Akbar, you know, Akbar Buzzy. That's D'Artagnan. Right. Strange name. These are my sons, Sherlock, Tonto. There are a number of them. <laughs> uh, D'Artagnan. D'Artagnan, Mandrake, and Ace. <laughs> And John, I, I named him when I was still doing drugs, and I'm just you know. <laughs> but uh, they're in trouble with the Mandrake's in trouble with the law again. What's the problem? Grand theft locomotive. <laughs> Good boy. 
He, he, but he's, he's always doing things that a lot of kids do. It's just kids, you know, like robbing accident victims. You know, <laughs> they want to get, they want to, you know, have the arrest quota. So uh, they grab them. <laughs> Blocking the view of a rich person. One of your kids did that? He was arrested for that, yeah. That, apparently that's a felony out here. I didn't know. <laughs> Doing the wave in church. 